uh, for this big, big fail here. But, uh, yeah, those things happen. But anyway, uh, here we are. <laughs> Once again, Echo Isles. Top left, Remind in blue. Top right, who? As the Yog player in yellow. He is getting the barracks. He's getting the Altar of Storms and the Yogborough. So pretty standard opening for him. And yeah, as I already told you, um, <laughs> we were supposed to watch a walk TV, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll wait for the first things to happen. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's the semi-final. Winner of this game has the chance to qualify for the big game at the end of this tournament, where, yeah, the winner will get the 100 euros. Ancient of War, next to the first creep camp here. And, um, yeah, as I already... Uh, told you we have a voodoo launch here, an offensive voodoo, la uh, offensive voodoo launch, an early voodoo launch here, which means that the blade master will, um, yeah, start the creep camp here right away. Um, sometimes we have seen the orc player, yeah, rushing over there and trying to annoy the night elf, trying to steal one or two creeps here, or whisper or something like that, but not this time. This time, the Blade Master attack. is going to creep himself. And um, yeah, there we go. Ancient of War gets uprooted. Archers are attacking the Yoga Warrior level 3 here. Demon Hunter will be out any second now. There we go. And getting the last hit, getting the item Claws of Attack plus 6. Blade Master probably also hoping for some Claws here. Let's see what he's getting. He gets a Gloves of Faced. Yeah, not too shabby for the Blade Master. Who taking two tier two? And yeah, one Grunt. Running around the map, Demon Hunter gets himself a Circlet of Nobility here at the Marketplace. Master now going in. One archer also around, and the blade master, yeah, probably is going for the archer right away. There we go. First hits are dealt. Oh, and the blade master still getting a kill, even though Remind probably tried the last hit here. Okay, so trying to deny the archer was not successful in doing so. Now he's facing off against the grunt and the blade master, but the blade master is forced to run away and do mana burn. Uh, oh, nice sidestep here. By who? But there's an ensnare now on the grunt. Ooh, Demon Hunter Blade Master will be close, will be close. But the Blade Master gets away. Can't say the same thing about the grunt. The grunt goes down. But yeah, no experience points here, at least for Remind. So, hmm, yeah. I, I mean, it was a nice idea um, by who to yeah get the creeps to attack the Demon Hunter. But... Losing grunt for that, mm, not too good. But anyway, let's see. Remind back in his main base, drops the circlet to yeah, use not too much moon juice here. And um, yeah, A town A is forces are under attack. the orc player with the next grunt and the blade master. With the boots, the circlet, the gloves, and a healing self, and no mana because the demon hunter gets another mana burnout. Second clause of attack now for the demon hunter of Remind. Interesting. Uh, gets another mana burn. Oh, on the Blade Master. Oh, Wisp. Ah, oh, okay. Wisp gets killed. Yeah. Remind was trying everything to get the Blade Master here. But the Blade Master gets away once again. And at tier 2, we see who going for the Torn Chieftain, the Beast 3, and the Spirit Lodge. So, yeah, pretty standard Raider Spirit Walker play for him. And Remind 
He's taking 33, and he's getting two Ancients of Wit. So, okay, this time we see Druid of the Talon, and the pretty standard Druid of the Talon opening here. Um, or mid-game, I should say. Um, with the Beast Bastard as the second hero, and probably the Tinker as the third hero. Knight of Player, now trying to sneak into the Ogre Warrior. There we go. The Blade Master is close by, trying to get the last hit here. Gets it, but the item oh, goes to the Knight of Player. Big healing potion here for the Demon Hunter. Oh, now surround here with two Ogre Warriors on the Demon Hunter. Oh, Beast Master. Oh, okay. He uses the healing potion right away. Oh, Demon Hunter, Mana Burn! <laughs> oh, 24 hit points. Healing self gets used. Demon Hunter, one hit away from getting killed. TP out by the Demon Hunter with the Blade Master. 14 hit points, gets away. Oh, that's some nice micro here by who? Really, really well played here. By the Orc player. Forcing a big healing potion on the Beastmaster. Forcing a TP and saving his Blade Master with 14 hit points. Oh boy. That was nice. Definitely. And uh, let's see. Yeah, Remind. He's close to tier 3. A player's force and under yeah, getting Druid of the Talon. Getting the Druid of the Talon adept training here. And now he's going for the Goblin Merchant at 6 o'clock. DC and Blade Master creeping the gold mine together here. Loves the face. Second pair for the Blade Master. This boy is super quick now. And yeah, now it's probably. Okay, he's going for the Goblin Merchant. But he will be a little bit too late. There we go, level 2 for the Demon Hunter. One creep is still up for grabs. We have the first ready here for who? And Snare goes on the Demon Hunter. Monoban on the Blade Master, so no more Windwalks here. Will be dealing some damage to the Torn Chieftain, which is close to level 2 here. And this Raider has some unfinished business here with the Demon Hunter. But the Demon Hunter with the Invo Potion and the Scroll Feeling should not go down. But maybe who is able to force one of those items? Uh, not quite. But there's still the Beastmaster around. Gets a critical strike here. And okay, there's the Staff available. There we go. Staff gets used. Druid of the Talon, uh, now also joining a party TC at level 1, still no shockwave here, and that's a very, very important spell here, especially on level 3, so yeah, who needs to catch some creeps here quickly, um, but let's see, in his main base, so far not too much happening, 40 out of 40 Player supply, next Ogboro is getting built, and Remind, 30 out of 50 supply, and the master upgrade almost finished here. Our player finishes the first row berserker, dispels the fairy fire. Even getting a level two now for the TC. That was no kind of important for Remind to get the first scroll of healing here and the Invo potion. Because yeah, definitely need healing scrolls to counter the shock wave. Oh, now the player creeping, the shop on the left, uh, the, the goblin mer go mercenary camp, god damn it! And who is going in with the creep jack, gets the first root of talent kill, one raider is in trouble but gets out of there. And a lot of orc units flying, next root of talent gets killed here, <laughs> once again they're all up in the air, but there's no dispel anymore. Shockwave used by the torrent chieftain and the scroll feeling immediately there to counter the damage. Next to root of the talent gets ensnared and kills, so yeah, who with? These are micro once again, but need to be careful. This Blade Master. Oh, Blade Master gets out of the surround. The first time at least, but I don't think this will work out a second time. Let's see. Org Army is moving in. Uh, trying to kill some more talents. One talent gets killed, but the Raider is also going down. Probably the Spirit Walker as well. There we go. Mana burn. The Spirit Walker. This time the Blade Master has enough mana for another Wind Walk. Nicely done here by who? So definitely on top of his game here at the moment. He's running for the Goblin Merchant now. Gets the Emo Potion. TC probably 
pick up a scroll feeling. Yeah, there we go. But another player now with the Tinker. Let's take a quick look in his main base. Yeah, not too much happening here. 37 supply against 43, but a lot of hurt units here for the Orc player. So he definitely needs some healing selves. Blade Master. Ah, there's no spot in his inventory for a healing self. So he needs to wait for the TC. Okay, TC gets there. Another player turn around. Probably getting some items. Uh, no, not really. Beastmaster with the healing potion. Demon Hunter with the evil potion still. Tinker without anything at the moment. Uh, another raider. Brutal Talent close enough for the Cyclone. Yes, he is. Out of army. Trying to close this around here. There we go. Little adjustment. Yeah, but Remind is opening up the surround. Wants to face the whole Org army. Two Spirit Walkers here. Focus now on the Beastmaster. Invo Potion used on the Blade Master. He is trying to kill the Knight of Second here. Where's the next end snare? Oh, come on! Level 2! Okay, he still gets a kill. Ooh, close one. Um, yeah, Blade Master up in the air. No Invo Potion. Now the Demon Hunter is getting focused. TC is already kind of low, but still has the Scroll Feeling. Uses the Scroll Feeling. Demon Hunter gets focused. Dispel here. Um, to get rid of the Cyclone. Demon Hunter with the Invo Blade Master! Oh, it's not micro back. And the Orc player loses his first hero. And probably the TC as well. TC gets surrounded. There we go. Focused and killed. Another Raider should also get killed. Yeah. <laughs> Another one is <laughs> Cyclone. Oh, boy. So, yeah, it was a great, great game. By um, by who? But not enough, I think. Blade Master is back. Fought from the tavern. Oh, and snare is demon hunter. Oh, 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 oh! Maybe, maybe, maybe. And snare cyclone. There we go. That's a kill of the demon hunter. Here's so only the tinker now. Around, but the blade master will fall once more. Gets around it. Gets killed. There we go. Tinker gets a level three. <laughs> now, who running for the tavern once again, trying to revive his hero. There we go, both players reviving the first heroes and the Demon Hunter. Yeah, Demon Hunter gets the kill, the Raider kill. So we have two Spirit Walkers, a Raider, and now we have the Cyclone here on the Blade Master, Knight of Army, focusing on those Spirit Walkers and, yeah, getting all of the kills here. Invo Potion gets used. Complete destruction of the Orc army here. He can be might even buying an invisibility potion. Get out of this tricky situation. Tinker gets focused, gets staffed. Blade Master gets killed, and it's a G G by who? <laughs>